I'm John Lawrence and the place to be a two pints of same I'm, I'm working on three. Yeah. I had coats the little under with me. And for my, my laziness, I am wearing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pajama pants. Hello, my name is Will Trainer and live boldly. And you're watching your Reader's World. Today we're gonna do something different. This isn't about books. Well, it's about my book. I was tagged by the wonderful amazing Brittany of Brittany Books to do the Your Story tag. This tag was created by Library Sarah, but I don't know if she deleted the video or something because I can't... <laughs> tag basically to answer questions about your book. Before I start, please do not steal my ideas. I hate those people and I worked really hard on this book and don't you dare take it away from me or this soccer ball go right into your face. Anyway, let's get started with the question. Question one, if I can get to it. Tell us your about your one of your stories, one that you have written or working on or planning to. I'm writing it. I have not finished it. I'm not even barely done with this book yet. Oh my god. It is a contemporary fantasy, which is hilarious because I heard someone was talking to Morgan Matson and Morgan Matson was like, Oh, I would love to write a contemporary fantasy, and I started freaking out because that's what I'm writing. This book follows four um, teenage girls. Oh my gosh, I just realized that my... And my camera's on low battery. Great! Um, this book follows four teenagers who every summer they spend their time at um, one of their beach houses, and one night something goes wrong and changes their lives forever. So number two, so is this part of a NaNoWriMo? or a Camp NaNoWriMo event, or a personal project. I started this book in early drafts in the beginning of September, and I really liked the idea, and I was like, okay, let me do this for a NaNoWriMo, because I never did NaNoWriMo before. I changed a lot of the story before I went into NaNoWriMo, so I did my story of NaNoWriMo. I basically failed it. I took a, a kind of break with it, until I came back to it, and I read it, and it was awful. It was one of the worst books I ever read. It was my own book, so I hated it. <laughs> I did do some of this book with, in um, Camp NaNoWriMo, and hopefully I can do that with July Camp NaNoWriMo, because I got a lot done with doing word sprints. Number three, tell us about your characters. Okay, so my four main characters, not just one, it, it's like friends. There's no central main character. The first one I'll talk about is Charlie. Charlie is basically me. <laughs> She is the movie nerd, she makes references all the time, and she is awesome. There's so many sassy and sarcastic comments she makes, and I love her. Paige is basically the leader of the group. She's athletic, she's smart, she's basically your dream girl. Tess is really happy and joyful, and she's such a fun person to be around. Jackie is kind of the opposite of all of them. She's not really out there. She kind of went through a dramatic thing um, early in her childhood that made her not really want to speak and suddenly when she goes to the beach for the first time she does. I love all my characters. I really do. Number four. What is your favorite friendship? The four of them are my favorite friendship and I'll explain it more in one of the questions. Um, number five. What is your favorite romance in the story? This series will be a duology. The first book will focus on the um, Paige and Charlie's relationships, and then the second book will focus on Jackie and Tess's relationship. I haven't really written much of Paige's love interest, but Charlie's love interest is the best. He's basically my dream guy. I mean, he's sarcastic, he loves movies. It's kind of a romantic relationship. They start hating each other, but suddenly they become friends, and then more slowly into a romance. I really like them two together. I will reveal the guy's name in one of these questions too. Okay, number six, what is the saddest um, part in your book? There's not a lot of sad parts in this book. Um, this is kind of a happy contemporary. I guess when we get more in depth of what happened to Jackie, that would be kind of a sad thing. Um, number seven, um, what is your favorite scene? Charlie's love interest is Marty. One scene, since Charlie is a huge movie fan, Paige introduces her to Marty. Paige goes, this is Marty. And Charlie goes, McFly? Um, what is your opening scene? Eight. Um, I will say the first sentence, and that is, Charlie always loved the last day of school. Question nine. How did this idea come about? Well, every summer, um, there's a girls weekend, and we spend it at my aunt's beach house, and, um, I got to know a lot of nice people there, including three other girls that are in, in the same age range as me. Kind of inspired me. And, um, number ten, what is the theme of your story? The theme is basically friendship. That friends are always going to be there. You need, I will follow anywhere. Go 
Sigma Girls theme is basically the theme of this book. Number 11, what, what is not working in your story and that you need all things? There's some stuff that like, I can like, I'm like, that could not be realistic. Also Jackie, I need to work on Jackie, how she acts around other people. She acts well around people that she knew for a while, but she's just like, she's just there when like strangers are talking. I'm like, Jackie, come on girl, I believe in you. Come on Jackie. And number 12, what? is one thing you absolutely love about your story. Mm, again, the characters. I love the characters. I just want to take them up in a bowl and hug them because they deserve to be hugged. I also really like um, that it's a contemporary fantasy. I never heard and read a contemporary fantasy before and I can't wait to be the first one to write it. Number 13, do you plan on trying to publish the story or is it just your own little secret? I will try. I probably will fail, but I hopefully will try to finish and edit and then like bring it out to the whole world for you guys and a lot of other people. I really hope this book is good. I don't want to be a failure. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you like, comment, my fedora. No, wait, that's not a fedora. That's a fez. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like, comment, subscribe, comment down below. Stuff. I don't know what to do. Um... Are you interested in my book? Like, that's the only thing I can think of. Like, okay, just comment anything. Comment, like, and a lyric from Hamilton. And if you don't know what lyric from Hamilton is, you should get on that. I know a lot of people who have not s listened to Hamilton. Then you better just comment a lyric from Hamilton. Just co Bye! I don't want it to be fan fiction -y, like, after and, like... There's other, there's other Wompad fictions that are getting published. Maybe I should post my story on Wompad and then when it gets really popular, it just becomes a book.